There comes a point in every new watch collector's journey when the allure of luxury timepieces simply becomes too tempting to ignore. Whether it be because of a storied brand name or an iconic reference number, the urge to spend bigger can't be overcome. That being said, there's an overwhelming amount of options in the entry to mid-level category, meaning it can be pretty difficult to pin down which timepiece is right for you. As such, we've rounded up the best watches for the new collector, including everything from dress pieces to divers in an effort to cover the complete horological gamut. Let's get to it. Though Nomos offers plenty of worthwhile options at this price point, particularly dress watches, we especially like the Orion 38. Easily one of the Glass Hute based outfit's most popular timepieces, it follows a quintessentially Bauhaus style that's stunning in its simplicity. What's more, it's a steal, starting at just a little over $2,500. For these reasons, we've selected the Orion as the best dress watch in our new collector's roundup. If you're looking for a polished offering to match your professional style, this is the timepiece for you. Being a part of the Deutsche Werkbund tradition, the Orion is a watch that demonstrates just how impactful minimalism can be. By eschewing anything that's excess or unnecessary in the pursuit of absolute functionality, Nomos has created a piece that's focused on one thing and one thing only, telling the time. Accordingly, the mesmerizing midnight blue dial fills the 38mm stainless steel case edge to edge with just a thin sliver of a bezel separating it from the long and sleek lugs. Complemented by a set of gold hands and indices, makes for a look that's effortlessly simple, yet utterly refined. So, while the Orion sports a small seconds complication at 6 o'clock, Nomos has ensured that even that is beautifully balanced in its integration. Positioned above the minutes indices and between the 5 and 7 hour markers, it's made only better by an understated guilloche finish that allows it to be more legible. Much more than a piece of minimalist eye candy, however, the Orion is a watch that also boasts a solid construction. The case is strikingly slim, just 8.45 millimeters, even despite having a domed sapphire crystal and case back. And while the crown is definitely on the smaller side, it's nevertheless easy to wind. Movement-wise, Nomos has given the Orion its famous in-house alpha caliber. Made with a rhodium-coated three-quarter plate and 17 jewels, the hand-wound movement is gorgeously decorated with glass hute ribbing, blued screws, and expert snailing. Bound on a black, Handmade 19mm Horween shell Cordovan leather strap, the Orion is a timepiece that plays the dress watch part extremely well. Some may find it a bit too formal for weekly wear, but for those whose style leans more professional, they'd be hard pressed to find a better companion than this sharp German. These days, the chronograph market has become extremely crowded in the $2,000 to $4,000 range, with everything from racing pieces to pilot's watches ripe for the picking. Of course, your preferred look will ultimately depend on your particular tastes, but the Avigation Big Eye from Longines ticks all the right boxes to make it deserving of our best chronograph pick. From first glance, it's pretty clear that this is a watch that leans heavily on vintage style. A modern recreation of a museum-bound Longines pilot's chronograph, the Big Eye mixes classic military style with modern techniques and materials. So, in addition to a set of oversized pushers and large Arabic numerals, it also comes with an asymmetrical chronograph register layout and some bright, vintage-colored Superluminova loom. Easily the most eye-catching aspect of the Big Eye, however, is the brilliant petroleum dial. Inky blue in color, it offers a nice contrast to the three black subdials, the creamy aged hands and indices, as well as the crisp white indices that surround the border. When paired with the brushed and polished titanium case and saddle brown strap, the result is a combination that pops in practically any lighting. On wrist, the Big Eye sits far more comfortably than many other chronographs on the market thanks to its lightweight titanium build. Now, it's not a small watch at 41mm wide, 14.5mm thick, and 48.7mm lug to lug, but the sloping lugs and leather strap mean that it nestles in quite naturally. As far as movements go, the Big Eye boasts Longines' ETA-based L688 column wheel caliber, an automatic chronograph movement that offers some 66 hours of runtime. Packed to the brim with a running seconds counter at 9, a 12-hour counter at 6, and the namesake Big Eye 30 minutes counter at 3, it avoids the added fuss and business of a date window, which, in our eyes, is a huge plus. The reality is that Longines sells a heap of watches that would work for a new collector. 
They are one of the top selling Swiss brands in the two to $4,000 range for a reason. However, between the artfully executed vintage styling, the asymmetrical yet balanced design, and the understated titanium case, the big eye is an option that can't be beat. An incredible value proposition at this price point, this is one modern reissue that's ready to please. While many consider Tudor's Black Bay GMT to be the poor man's version of sister brand Rolex's iconic GMT Master II, it's so much more than that. Done up with a striking red and blue 24-hour bezel, the classic Pepsi layout, the watch even offers true local jumping hour functionality, a feature that many GMT watches in this price bracket fail to integrate. And here's the thing, thanks to its muted aluminum bezel, oversized unprotected crown, and domed crystal, Tudor's GMT is arguably truer to the spirit of vintage Rolex GMTs than the flashy ceramic product that's being put out by the crown these days. It's for good reason then, that the Black Bay GMT has earned the honor of our best travel watch. The amount of minute details on the Black Bay GMT is astounding. The dial, for instance, is a handsome matte black adorned with large applied indices and a simple date window at the three o'clock position. With its balanced text, classic snowflake hands, and bright loom makes for an exceptionally easy read. The case, too, is a quality piece, coming in at 41 millimeters wide with a nice mix of both satin brushed and mirror polished finishing. While it's slightly on the larger side at 15 millimeters thick and 50 millimeters lug to lug, it provides plenty of purchase in combination with the big screw down crown. It also ensures that the watch offers a healthy amount of wrist presence. Sporty for everyday wear, yet sophisticated enough for those jet-setting business meetings. Above all else though, it's the MT5652 movement that's the real star of the show. Developed in-house at Tudor for true travel watch applications, it delivers full local jumping hour functionality, a feature that allows you to quickly and easily adjust to your local time when arriving at a new destination, without disturbing your running seconds or home time. No matter if you wear the Black Bay GMT on its rivet style steel bracelet, a fabric strap, or if you throw it on leather, it's exceptionally comfortable on the wrist, even in spite of its larger size. Your preference will, of course, depend on your style and usage requirements, but you can't go wrong with any option you choose. Whether you're in the market for a true GMT or you simply want an affordable Rolex alternative that offers the same pedigree, the Tudor Black Bay GMT is a watch that's certainly worth consideration. Between the classic look and the capable movement, it makes her an option that's by far one of the best travel watches a new collector can buy. An everyday or go anywhere, do anything watch needs to be robust, easy to care for, and it needs to work in both sporty and dressy situations. And that's precisely what this Grand Seiko does. That is to say, between the revolutionary hybrid spring drive movement the stellar finishing, and the respectable 100 meters of water resistance, it proved a clear winner for our best everyday watch. Grand Seiko has a reputation for making knockout dress watches, but the Japanese luxury brand also possesses a mastery over the sports watch form. The watches in the brand's heritage collection, like reference SBGA 427, strike the perfect balance between the two, merging an upscale aesthetic with some distinctly sporty design elements. In line with Taro Tanaka's grammar of design, the SBGA 427 features a number of characteristically Grand Seiko stylistic touches, including a double width index at 12 o'clock, razor sharp multifaceted hour and minute hands, as well as a highly polished bezel and a curved sideline. It's a combination that's instantly recognizable as a Grand Seiko. Moreover, the watch's dial design is inspired by the Soko, the end of autumn in Japan, and the Ereshiyama bamboo forest in Kyoto. Between the vertical texture of the light silver dial and the green accents in the hands, makes for a calming piece that perfectly encapsulates the harmony of Grand Seiko's relationship with nature. The 9R65 Spring Drive Caliber is robust and easy to care for, and it's a Grand Seiko signature that you won't find in any other brand. Combining elements of quartz timekeeping technology with the construction of an automatic mechanical movement, Spring Drive offers the best of both worlds. Its plus or minus 15 seconds per month accuracy bests any traditional mechanical watch, yet it still boasts all of the intricacy, decoration, and romance that we love about these wrist-worn machines. And that's not all. The spring drive movement also allows for a perfect fluid sweep of the second hand around the dial, 
giving an effortless depiction of the continuous passage of time. When it comes to the case, you'll find the SPGA 427 to be exceptionally finished. It measures a very wearable 39mm by 12.3mm, and there's striking Zeratsu polish as far as the eye can see. In order to truly appreciate the watch's craftsmanship, though, you really need to get your hands on it. It's a dynamic beauty that's always changing. Dazzling yet dependable, refined yet robust, Grand Seiko's SBGA 427 is the perfect go-anywhere, do-anything timepiece for the new collector. If you have yet to get your hands on one of the Japanese outfit's game-changing spring drive watches, you don't know what you're missing. The market is overflowing with quality dive watches at this price point, meaning it can be pretty difficult to figure out which one is right for you. However, if you're looking for a timepiece that combines old-school cool with state-of-the-art tech, Omega Seamaster 300 is easily your best bet. It's for this reason that we've picked the watch as our best diver for the new collector. Based on the original Omega Seamaster 300 from 1957, the brand's very first professional dive watch, it's a piece that stands head and shoulders above other offerings on the market. As much a vintage homage as it is a retroactive update, the Seamaster 300 takes what was loved about the original and updates it with subtle but significant improvements. For instance, the sandwich dial is composed of two plates, with the lower one painted in a blue emitting vintage Super Luminova, and the black sandblasted top layer machined with cutouts for the indices. In addition to giving the watch a brilliant stenciled effect, it also allows the loom to shine very brightly. Speaking of the loom, you'll find that the minute hand and bezel pip shine green rather than blue, a welcome feature to anyone who actually plans on diving with the Seamaster. While you might not expect it based on the Seamaster 300's retro appearance, the watch's movement is state-of-the-art. Equipped with the 8400 caliber automatic movement, it boasts two barrels, Omega's trademark coaxial escapement, and a silicon balance spring. In practice, this means that the Seamaster 300 offers 60 hours of power reserve, protection against magnetic fields up to 15,000 gauss, and a stringent, meta-certified master chronometer certification. And here's the thing, it's all readily viewable through the Sapphire Exhibition Caseback, exclusive arabesque Geneva waves, decoration, and all. In line with its inspiration, the Seamaster 300 measures a comfortable 41 millimeters across, 14.65 millimeters thick, and 21 millimeters between the lugs. Accordingly, it's an extremely pleasant wear, regardless of your wrist size, equally at home on slim and wide arms alike. The included bracelet is an engineering marvel with a center-polished three-link design and one of the most solidly built clasps we've ever experienced. If you're on the hunt for a vintage timepiece but can't stomach the pitfalls of buying used, the Seamaster 300 is a watch that's well worth a look. Much more than a retro redux, however, Omega's offering is also an incredibly competitive piece amongst the current crop of dive watches. Between the characteristically Omega attention to detail, the full 300 meters of water resistance, and the charming retro appeal, this is one diver that deserves to be in every enthusiast's collection. Rounding out our list of the best watches for the new collector is the Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot Big Date. For those who are just dipping their toes into the world of luxury timepieces and aren't quite ready to spend over two grand on a watch, Oris's offering makes for an excellent first buy. With this in mind, we've chosen it as our pick for the best intro to luxury watches. And it's for good reason. Because the thing is, even in spite of having big in its name twice, this modern pilot's watch wears very well on a variety of wrists. It's moderately sized at 41 millimeters wide, 13 millimeters thick, and 49 millimeters lug to lug. Even on its matching steel bracelet then, the Big Crown Pro Pilot Big Date is easy to set and forget. What's more, the watch brings tons of value to the table at just $1,900 all in. Pairing both brushed and mirrored finishes, the case is made only better by Oris's trademark knurled turbine style bezel and matching big crown. When it comes to the dial, Oris has kept the big crown Pro Pilot Big Date a pretty simple affair. Gray in color and minimal in text, it's large and legible with a matching date window and brightly loomed applied Arabic indices around the outside. Thanks to the raised hour markers, it's super easy to read from any angle, like any good pilot's watch should be. Inside, the watch features Oris's Salita-based 
751 automatic movement. Fitted with the independent Swiss brand's signature red rotor, it ticks away at 4 Hz and offers 38 hours of reserve power. More than anything, we'd recommend the Big Crown Pro Pilot Big Date because of its variety. That is to say, with some 11 different options from which to choose, chances are pretty good that Oris can hook you up with a luxury timepiece that's perfectly suited to your style. And before you know it, you'll be hooked on a lifetime of watch collecting wonder.